Welcome to a quick peek at one of our large ebooks. This one is The Family Forest Descendants of Edward III, King of England. What you can see up top is that we're on page one of 10,142 pages, and we're zoomed in. And I'm going to click on this button here to show one page at a time so you can see how to switch over to full page view. We we'll use the arrow to click down to the next page. And this is the quick introduction to the book. What I'd like you to see here is that this is a computer generated response to me asking, show me all of the descendants of Edward III, King of England, according to recorded history, who were lineage linked to him within the Family Forest National Treasure Edition along with the spouses of those descendants. Show any and all dates and places that are attached to those people, along with any notes about their lives and accomplishments. Show each book and page reference for every statement and connection, and display the results in standard genealogical format, along with a complete and highly detailed index. So the system of links that produce this is our Family Forest Project, which is an ongoing project of our best efforts to digitally connect the dots of recorded history in a lineage link format according to our interpretation of where the experts say they should be connected. Each statement and connection is accompanied by a source location so that you can judge the validity of each statement and connection for yourself. So let's switch over to a full page view again and zoom into a couple of the people that I've located in advance for this tour. And all we need to do is enter the page number up here and it will instantly take us to that page. And this page is for, and we're going to click on the fit the width button up top here so we can read it. Um, Elizabeth Caddy Stanton, who is the famous woman's suffrage pioneer and leader. And what you will see in this one paragraph next to her name is that she has a 20 here, which means it's 20 steps down the line from her ancestor, King Edward III. And in between are all the steps that it took to reach down to Elizabeth Caddy Stanton. And it means that further up in this book, you can stop on each and every one of these generations along the way to see where that information came from. So here we are switching back to page view again. And we'll move on to another page here. And one of the most famous actresses of our time Catherine Hepburn, and next page will be here, let me zoom in again a little bit so you can see it again, down lower part of this page, we have Alec Baldwin and two of his brothers. And we would have to go to the next page to see his other brother, Stephen. Back to full page view again, and let's click down for just three more pages. And we find Errol Flynn. Go three more pages. One more. And we find Anderson Cooper. Moving ahead to 471, we find rock icon David Crosby. And on the following page, we find rocket scientist Werner von Braun, J. 
jump about a hundred pages farther in the book. And we come to Microsoft founder Bill Gates. Jump ahead forward a little bit further. And we come to another rock icon, Grace Slick. Jump ahead once more to 6, and on this page we see Paul Giamatti, Cindy Crawford, Richard Gere, click on to the next page, we find President George Walker Bush, brother, Governor Jeb Bush. So that's just a small sampling of some of the people that are in. But what I like to do is to search through for themes. I'm going to go back up to the beginning of the book and up in the find window, I'm going to type in the word carrot, as in diamond carrots. Click on the Find Next button, searches through, brings us to a page, and we find out that he bought, that this was King Louis XIV, he bought the rough cut blue diamond that became the 45.52 carat Hope Diamond. And if we look down at the sources, we'll find out exactly where we can see a photograph of that. And the sources are down at the bottom of the page, and I happen to know that this one comes from Harry Winston, the ultimate jeweler. Back to full page again, and continuing on our search, if we just click the next page on there. And what we find here is she had a crown created that included the two pear-shaped diamonds weighing a total of 57.35 carats that are now known as the archive diamonds. So now that you've seen, you can search for people and you can search for themes. You can use the same search tool to search for places. And if we want to try another theme, one of them I like is Invent, and as long as we don't have the show, there's an option here for whole words only. But if we just leave it as Invent, it'll stop on every time we find an Invent tour. Go back to full page here. And if you use the F3 button, it will toggle you through, or you can click on these Find Next Page. So there's, this guy was the inventor of the trolling spoon, which was awarded first prize for fishing tackle back in 1876 at Philadelphia, PA. And again, the sources will, will be listed down below so you can see exactly where that came from. These books should be thought of as tour guides to the best of the best that we found so far of recorded history. And it'll lead you right to where those those facts and connections were located. And here's the guy that invented plywood, Governor Joshua Hopkins Marble. Something interesting to think about here is that every person in this book is already networked to every other person in this book through family ties. And there are over 80,000 people, different people in this, in this one book, including some people who themselves are ancestors of millions of people. And the best guess on Edward III is that he's certainly the ancestor of hundreds of millions of people today, and possibly even more than a billion. So your odds of having Edward III as one of your ancestors are very high. And we're going to stop.
stop here with last one we have Dr. Alexander Graham Bell, inventor of the telephone and second president of the National Geographic Society. Thanks for watching.